let us pray our gracious heavenly father our creator we thank you for this day we thank you for the wonderful weather we thank you for bringing us here we thank you for this hour you are, which you are ordained to devote upon the scriptures what shall we return unto you for all your goodness unto me and to us help us to lift up our hearts humble and grateful hearts as our offer is to you we ask this in the name of our lord during the days when i was serving rural congregations we used to celebrate harvest festival even during the evenings being a pastor of 15 congregations and only four or five sundays in a month quite often we will be celebrating village harvest festival in the evenings on one such occasion I went to a village for, uh, 22 kilometers away from my parsonage. As the dusk is falling, I was standing outside, chatting with the elder of the congregation. Members were bringing in paddy, vegetables, fruits, and livestock. And there was one person was bringing in a sack of paddy and the elder told me see I, uh, this person is a Hindu but he never fails to offer a sack of paddy every year in our harvest festival as this man offloaded the sack of paddy at the altar and came out with his towel in his hand he wished me humbly I thanked him for his offertory. Smiling back, this farmer told me, Sir, it is we who have to thank you for coming in this darkness to celebrate this festival. And I was taken aback. I was st still calibrating an appropriate response to this farmer and he continued what are we without God everything is given by him we only give back a little this response from a farmer in the deep rural village deconstructed several several of my assumptions about a church's harvest festival I was born and brought up in a city congregation like this. I thought I am as a presbyter of a pastorate and this church being one of my branch churches and uh, this person coming in, a non-Christian, bringing an offer tree to the church, I am obligated to thank him on behalf of the congregation. But his response made me to realize who he was and what I am. And he said, Sir, it is we who have to thank you for coming. Hello. I am from this village. I am a farmer. A faith community of this village is celebrating its harvest festival. Am I not part of it to bring my first fruits in front of the de deity which helped me to grow all this I am part of this village it is you who are coming from outside sir we have to thank you for coming in this darkness he said so harvest festival is not a religious festival alone <clears throat> and after that it took me some time to realize the full meaning of his response I pondered over his response to analyze whether the horror festival is a religious festival or otherwise. There are two places in which we have the stipulations for harvest festival in the Old Testament. One is Levitical 23 where 
it is more of a religious color it is more of a religious stipulations given to the people in the wilderness people of god who are moving towards the land of promise and we have also another place where we have the stipulations for harvest festival as we have read to us today from Deuteronomy chapter 26 and here it is more of a communitarian festival with religious obligations it's more of a communitarian festival the Lord tells you in chapter uh, in chapter 26 verse 11 and tell then you together with the Levites the aliens who reside among you and chapter and verse 11 has a longer list the Levites the aliens the orphans and the widows harvest festival is a festival of community community it's a festival of inclusiveness when you come before your creator you see to it that you don't leave out anyone bring everyone along with you and stand before your creator the list the widows the orphans the aliens the levites these are the social expendables who cannot claim any rightful inclusion and the lords and the lord tells the people of god you see to it when you come before me you do not leave them behind or leave them out harvest festival is a is a communitarian festival is a festival of inclusiveness where everyone is brought along everyone is carried along when we stand before the people of god so let us remind ourselves of all those who are on the fringes of the community of the society of the family of the family of egmore wesley church and let us analyze whether we come before god with everyone though the former is a non-christian he exhibited a remarkable sense of clarity about the deep sense of harvest festival his deep sense of dependence upon the divinity upon the divine the deity for all that his being on all that he has transcended the religious divide and he said what are we without God what are we without God harvest festivals primary objective is to make us to realize year after year generation after generation that everything that we are everything that we have everything that we hold is because of God and only God alone what are we without God and that is why in this religious stipulations found in Deuteronomy chapter 26 a person who is bringing the first fruits in front of the priest to the altar is asked to sing a song a wandering Aramean was my father he went down to Egypt with few members and there he grew as a big nation and then he runs through the history of salvation that the God had wrought with powerful arms and raised strong arms. This song, this narrative, this prayer has to be narrated, has to be chanted year after year, generation after generation by the people of God whenever they, when they bring this first fruits in front of the altar. No matter whether you, are, you have become a king now, you are a prince, you are a courtier, you are a landlord, or you are uh, in the diaspora, you are a rich banker, you are coming there with millions in front of God, you have to narrate this saying, a wandering Aramean was fa my father, he was totally dependent upon God for all that he was and all that he had, and he was brought into this promised land. And this utter dependence upon God is the primary cause and call of this harvest festival to make our hearts to realize that without God we are nobody. Our four parents were once wandering a before they were won over for Christ. 
and in this dangerous world with unpredictability a world of dangerous unpredictability what are we without god a day of heavy rain a couple of days of torrential rain can turn our lives over what all we have is nothing in this world of dangerous unpredictability what are we without god and so whenever we celebrate the harvest festival our hearts have to realize that what are, what we are and what we have is only because of god this humble attitude of coming before god offering everything to god including one's own being is the perfect offertory of harvest festival and the farmer continued saying god gives everything we offer only a small portion back to him god gives everything we offer only a small portion it is another very crucial realization that we can never match the bounteous goodness that god has given us generation after generation whatever we offer today is only a very little fraction of god god has given us we can never match god's bounty by our offerings and everyone has to say in Deuteronomy 26 verse 10 so now i bring first fruits of the ground that you o lord have given me you have given me everything i bring only the first fruits i cannot give you everything my life depends upon this and so i give you this only your heart with a deep sense of humility and a profound sense of gratitude is a heart which can be offered to god as a perfect offertory a heart which always offered lifted up with deep sense of humility and profound sense of gratitude is what is a perfect offertory to our god dearly beloved in christ i conclude harvest festival is a communitarian festival with a religious obligation you don't come before god leaving out anyone even those who, who don't have any rightful claim for inclusion harvest festival is a festival to realize our continued and total dependence upon god especially in this world in this dangerous world of unpredictability what are we without god harvest festival is a festival to celebrate with a deep sense of gratitude and a profound sense of humility what can we do or what can we offer for all that god has done to us the psalmist says what can i return for all that he has done to me i will offer my vows in the presence of all his people psalm 116 what can we return to the lord for all his bounteous goodness unto us let us celebrate with humility let us celebrate with gratitude and let us celebrate with joy Start of this. It will not change, not only will keep changing.